Welcome back, welcome back everyone. I've not actually cast out yet. I've just put my rods on the rest as it's just getting dark. So I wanted to get everything up, my shelter up, the camera ready, the rods ready, my rigs are ready, change your hooks. Everything is looking good. The last few days we've had a bit of a blow. It's no secret on this beautiful beach, if we have a bit of a storm in the winter, then the cod will show. It's not actually winter, although it is September now. If you've been watching my videos recently, you will see that I've caught a few codlin, and it's no secret that this year, there's been more codlin than ever. So tonight, we've definitely got a chance. Firstly, before we get going, as we've been quite keen recently to do a few night sessions, and you seem to enjoy it, I've done something to aid your entertainment. And that's not replaced myself with someone really good. I've got some tip tape on my rods there. It's really busy, this beach. There's probably 200 people on it. I've walked about 45 minutes from the car park, well, probably about an hour from Ferry Bridge, and it's completely rammed. It's Saturday night, so if you're down here, leave a comment, let me know how you got on. I don't normally do stuff like that. I must have seen that somewhere else. Leave a comment. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely rammed. I'm not going to be swinging any leads around tonight, just straight over the head thumps. These continental rods, just outstanding. And uh, we'll have some fun. Get some baiting up done. I'm gonna get the rigs out. When I come back, we'll be fishing. Hopefully, with my new tip tape, it will bring a new experience for you at home and we might be able to catch a few bites on camera. That's if I get any bites. Bait wise today, or this evening. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any blacks because of the weather last week. I struggled to get blow lug. I had to drive to Fire's Tackle Shop in Burnham on Sea and get some blow lug. I actually went and dug some myself and I snapped my fork. So I had to give up and go in the shop and buy some. But yeah, the weather's really bad last week for thunderstorms. It's been really hard to get blacks. I'm pretty sure you all know and understand that weather is a massive, well, has massive side effects to us getting bait. So all the shops around this area are trying really hard. I think they've all had ragging. That's been pretty hard, but some of you have got bait. So yeah. So I've got a little bit of blow lug and I've got a bit of rag and I've got some squid. Not kicking though. Definitely way. Nice. Turn the light on. Oh. Got a carrier bag. That's nice, isn't it? A chisel specimen. Thanks. So not only did I have a bag, I had a spider crab. September, everyone. What are you doing here, mate? Go home. No one cares. But there you go. First cast weed, second cast spider crab. It can only get better. And I mean, it can only get better. So while it's a little bit quiet, well, I say quiet, I've had a bag, a bit of weed and a spider crab. I thought I'd just have an opportunity to just have a one-on-one -on -one and catch up with you. Firstly, thanks for watching my video on holiday. Obviously it's not for everyone. It's not Chesil Beach, but I just decided to film while I was away and I caught a few species and I enjoyed it. So thanks to the people that enjoyed that. Obviously I went out locally and caught a few trout. That was nice. And now I'm back on Chesil and that's why 90% of you watch my channel. So this week marks 12 months since I started my first video. So some of you have been watching me fish for a whole year. So thank you very much for that. Um, I don't know why I started really. 12 months ago I started filming. Before then, I've not really had the confidence 
because I just didn't know how it was going to go. All right, but um, I'm grateful to say you've all been really nice to me and positive, and it's been great. I've enjoyed it, and a lot of you have as well. So I really appreciate it. When I see you out on the beach, you're really complimentary towards me, and it seems that it's working. Lots of you are catching more fish, and we're having more fun, and we're getting out fishing, and that's, that's really why I set it all up. Obviously, it's helped me as well, my coaching. All of my bookings now virtually come through YouTube, so I thank you all yet again for that. It's pretty dead. Pretty dead everywhere. I haven't seen anyone else catch any. Oh, I don't know. What we got on here? Payton. So there we are, a nice big Payton. It's not really what we're after though, is it? I don't think that is what slack line me, but it's not got no marks on it. But yeah, I'll get this Payton back. Anyway, that's fishing. I'm not blanking, it's Chisel Beach. Cheers everyone. Welcome back to the beautiful Chisel Beach here in Dorset. As you can see, it's morning. Unfortunately, last night, I fished till about midnight and it was dire. I had about two little bites and I just thought, I'd save my bait and have a few hours first light. As you know, it's my favorite time to be on this beach. And if I've got a chance, it's now, in my opinion. So here we are. It's morning, I'm still here. I'm actually coaching today, so it's not a problem. I just didn't go home. I just slept in my shelter, which is pretty rough. But here we are. As you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful morning. I'll show you around. The you naughty know mean. It's a little bit quieter now along here. Portland. Just watching some guy out there law fishing. First cast was caught a bass. Yeah. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Fair play to him. Just a schoolie, he's just checked it back. But yeah, here we are. Right, I'm going to get baiting up. I'll keep the baits going in. And hopefully we can get into a few fish, but it's definitely slow. This is the thing with Chesil Beach. From August till before we went on holiday, it was fishing amazing. We've actually had a little bit of rough weather, which we normally expect and we normally want. And for me, it's been dead. But that's fishing. That's why we love it so much. And yeah, there is people catching fish further up the beach. But hey ho, that's life. But no, you can't beat a hard fishing session. When it's like this, oh, I just, I love it. It just drives me on. And it just keeps me going. Because I'm a few casts away from that next big fish. And that's just the way I look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no point coming out here and catching all the time, it'll get boring. I've caught loads lately, I've been well happy with myself. And quite a lot of other people have, so it's been good. If it is every trip. But it's not. I'm gonna get the kettle on. I'm gonna keep fishing. Keep trying. And that's all I can do. Good morning. 
So I thought I'd just talk you through my breakfast. Um, as you would have seen if you watched the channel recently, I went on a cruise. Very nice. Um, yeah, it's the second one I've done. Obviously, I was in the Navy for quite a while. Well, I'm still in the Navy now, but as a reserve, but I've done some cruising in the Navy. But this time I went on a proper cruise and uh, I realised when I was away, I need to start looking after myself. You know what it's like as a bloke and you, you guys, and probably women as well. You look in the mirror and you think, there I am. I'm 40 now, so I'm like, so I've decided to go on a 100 day detox. All right, bear with me. All right, that's negative bacon rolls. So I'm on a 100 day detox to the 14th of December. No alcohol, it's not overly too bad. Well, I do love a drink when I'm not fishing and coaching, obviously. When I normally do my editing, I normally have some wine. You could probably tell. Um, but yeah, so I'm resetting my whole body 100 days, which takes me to the 14th of December. Not that I'm counting. But yeah, so if there's any men out there and women that take a little look at yourself and you can't see little Wayne, well obviously you won't see mine because that's a bit weird, but you know what I mean, blokes and ladies, if you're putting on a bit of timber, now's the time. If you do a 100 day challenge, you can still have a drink at Christmas. All right, if that's what you look out for. I do, I love partying. I love going out and having fun. I can't think of anything more than fishing, with my friends or my Uncle Phil or whatever, a few of my mates, on a winter's day, catching a few cod, driving back, stopping at a pub and having a couple of pints in front of a fire with a roast dinner. That's it for me. That's like, you can't get no better. Obviously, when my missus had kids and spending time with my family is nice as well. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to talk you through my new regime and my new breakfast. So today, we've got a bit of porridge. We've all seen these. Oats so simple. So I'm not actually eating clean, clean, or so I won't be able to eat these. I'm just having a detox, not eating anything fatty, and going to the gym, training, and no alcohol for 100 days. So I'm allowed to eat this, thank God. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be overly, overly strict on my diet, but no alcohol and loads of exercise and plenty of water. So this is my new routine. You won't see me eating bacon rolls anymore. I've got a nice cup of tea. Beautiful. Anyway, that's about me. We could talk about you, but that's pretty hard when you're sat at home. But I'm gonna keep fishing. It's absolutely pants, but I don't care. I've got about four more hours. I'll keep putting the baits out, keep trying my hardest, and you never know, that worldie could come along. That all it takes is that one fish, that one bite, and we're back in the game. But if not, like I've said already, it's a beautiful day to be alive, and I'm very privileged to be here on the mighty Chesil Beach. I was just talking to you about my diet and my 100-day detox, and I looked up and I got a slat line on the right-hand rod. Hopefully, we can get into a fish at last. Oh, can we have our first decent fish in the session? Definitely wait. Come on. Got a bit of squid on this one as well, so. Hopefully it's not a bit of weed picked up. It definitely looks fishy. Definitely a fish on. Bit of weight. What could it be? I think it's a codlin. I would say. Got a gurnard. Well, there's my prize for being patient. But it's not the biggest fish in the world, but it's a beautiful red gurnard. And on a day like today, I'm very proud and privileged to see this fish. Thank you, Mr. Gurnard. He's not very happy with me. He's been grumping away. Mm -hmm. But look, I'll get this fish back. What a beautiful fish. And I've been rewarded. Like I said to you, it didn't matter anyway. The sun's coming up, the waves are beautiful, and I'm holding a beautiful red gurnard here in Dorset. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Mr. Gilmer. So I was just sat back, chilling, daydreaming, 
And my left arm rug pulled right down. There he is, pull in again. I think this could be a bream bite. I put it out there quite far. Looks more breamy. It's definitely a fish, eh? Get any more movement, we'll have a look at it, shall we? Whatever it is, it's not very big. It's definitely a fish out there. Stuck in somewhere then. Hopefully I haven't bumped the fish off. What's he got? Oh, another girl now, I think. Yeah. Oh no, a nice red mullet. Beauty! On the circle. Oh, what a fish. Look at that. You've got to be quick with these because they're not very tough and they die really quick. So, look, there's a red mullet on Chesil Beach. What an absolute beauty. But yeah, let's get this chap straight back because they just change colour and die rapidly. But that's a red mullet. Thanks, Mr. Mr. Red. But yeah, beautiful. We're into the fish at last. I'm just changing the bait on this one after that red mullet. Well, there's definitely some weight. I didn't see a bite, but the tide, the tide is totally ripping, so... Small fish or smaller fish will not be able to take the lead straight out. There's definitely something here. Off we got this time. Got a codlin. Woohoohoo! Yeah, boy. Cod on. I'm not a failure. Beautiful. Let's check this chap out. There you go, let. A Chesil Beach codlin right on the circle hook. That's what you get if you don't give up. It's not the biggest fish in the world, but an hour ago I could have definitely given up if I didn't have the willpower and the effort because I was pretty disgruntled, it was pretty poor, but I kept going and that's what it's all about. It's not the biggest, but it's a target species in the sunshine on the beautiful Chesil Beach. Cheers everyone and I get this chat back. Perfect. There you go. Whoa, there you go. Come back when you're 10 pine. Cheers everyone. Right, so believe it or not, I was just sorting that other cod out. And this rod was tight in the tide and it looked like someone just come along and cut my line. This is right down tide, slack as you could get it. This could be a proper fish. Oh, it's a bream. Wow. From an hour, Mr. Bream. You got some nuts on you. Slammed out a seven ounce lead and took me down tight, but that's a nice bream as well. And there you go. That's why you could never write off this beautiful beach. A codlin and a bream within five minutes after a hard morning. But there you go. There's a stunning black bream on the beautiful Chesil Beach. Don't ever give up everyone. Just keep trying and you will be rewarded. What was I saying earlier? Oh, she got a spine right in the hands. Anyway. Let's get this chap back. Let's get him all back. This fish is fine. I've not got a rod in the water. It's crazy. Didn't have a bite for three hours. Now I can't keep a rod in the water. Long may it continue. I'm going to keep fishing. I've got about an hour and a half now. But there's a beautiful bream on the mighty Chesil Beach. Yeah, Mr. Bream. So how different was that ending? So we had last night where I fished really, really hard up till half one. I caught one little python and missed one other bite. Putting in baits constantly, dead. First light, nothing, my favorite time. I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay overnight. Well, I probably wasn't. And I thought, 
Oh, just go to sleep about half one, get a couple hours sleep, get up, smash it out of the park first light. Dead. Nothing for two and a half hours. Normally when it starts to drop off, and then bang. I had that lovely red gurnard, a lovely red mullet, a lovely little codlin, and that beautiful bream, all in four casts. Four fish, four casts, bang. Session done. But yeah, how different. But it just shows you've got to stay, put the effort in. Obviously, if you've got places to go, then go. Don't sit here for two days. But if you were meant to fish, stay and fish. If you've got bait, don't go, because those fish can come along on that tide as they did today, and that's a prime example of effort equals reward. I didn't believe it myself. At seven o'clock this morning, I couldn't imagine that I would have caught four fish like that, even myself. But that's Chesil Beach. My name's Wayne. Thanks again for watching. It's been a complete privilege to fish for you on this beautiful beach this morning and last night. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks everyone and I'll see you soon.